Hey guys, Beagle here. Uh, so today I wanted to have a conversation with you a little bit about what happened yesterday. So yesterday I made a tweet that said we need feminism in board, game be board gaming because it rarely feels like an uphill battle for men to be a part of the community, but for women it is. I wanted to discuss a little bit about what we can do to make the board game industry a more welcoming place for both minorities and women. And I will tell you right now, I've seen more hostility towards me in the last 24 hours than I have the entire time I've been in the board game industry. And I've seen a lot of really horrible things said to me and my friends. And I wanted to let everybody know that if you're one of those people out there trolling, like, it's not okay. There are other people on the side of other screens. And your anonymity isn't going to be there forever. And for God's sake, like, if you had to say something like that to somebody's face, you wouldn't do it. So don't do it online. It's really not that difficult to be a decent human being. Um, in addition to that, I'm going to go over a couple things and how we can make them better. All right, so here we go. A is objectification women of women in gaming. Uh, you can look to Fantasy Flight and Plaid Hat Games, and I'm sure there are plenty of other games out there that have equal representation of women to men and proper representation. By that I mean it's fine if there is a bust your woman and her cleavage is showing. That's totally fine. Good for you. But maybe also have some women thrown in there that aren't as busty. I, for example, am 95 pounds soaking wet and I don't have a lot of bust going on, but guess what? I'm still a woman and I'm also a Hispanic woman and women deserve representation. I know guys don't see this because you look at a box and 90% of the time it's got a white guy right on the front of it. Um, you are more than represented in our community. And that is an invisible barrier that women have to overcome. And the way that we can do so is by writing letters to our publishers, appreciating the ones that are doing things right, and potentially even criticizing the ones that are doing things wrong. You don't have to be mean about it. You could send them an email and say, hey, I really like this game, but I just wanted to say I don't appreciate the objectification of women in this specific way, or I don't appreciate the way that these women are dressed that makes me feel uncomfortable. And men, you can participate in this too. You don't have to feel like women need to be do out there doing all the work. You are a large voice. You are a voice that will be heard if you speak. So please, feel free to help our cause. Um, another issue that I've seen is that there aren't enough women in games, for the most part. You look at my collection and it's almost exclusively dudes on the covers, and that's cool, that's fine. Um, but I will tell you this, putting women on your games will not make people think that it's a girly theme. You can make women just as strong and powerful and badass as men are. And you should, you should. Women should be in armor, fighting with men, because you know what? Women in our real military do that too. I know some fantastically awesome women in the military, and they kick ass just as much as men do. And I would like to see a stronger movement towards showing women as equals to men as opposed to just having a role of, oh, she's there in the, in the, in the factory to have babies with. Oh, all right, she's a witch. She's a maid. She's a princess. Well... Guys, how about we give some women some power, and she's a soldier, or she's a president. You can do better than this. I know you can do better than this. Um, so another problem that I saw when I tweeted this was there were immediately a lot of men that were demanding me to give them explanations of how women are struggling to break into the hobby. They were saying I was part of the problem, that it was my own anxieties. And I just want to I just want to stop right there and say, you guys. Really? This is not a an experience that is exclusive to me. I do not I'm not the only person who has had a difficult time fitting in in game stores, especially as a girl. I I can't tell you the number of times that I've walked into a game store and somebody assumed that I was buying board games for my boyfriend or that I didn't know what I was talking about. That's not fair. That's not cool. And the way we can make a difference there is by 
making sure that all retailers and our friends and family are aware that women game just as much as men. Simply by going out and gaming, you are being an activist, ladies. Uh, being visible in the gaming community will make a difference, and in addition to that, men, if you hear other men using derogatory phrases to describe women, bitches, or saying that they're, that like, using rape as a way to defeat somebody, oh, I raped you, tell those people to knock it off. It's not that hard. Just explain to them, hey, guess what? Rape is a traumatic event for everybody. Anyone. Anyone. And it's not meant to be used as a punchline, so please don't use it as a punchline. It's not that hard. It's basic, common human decency, and it it's inappropriate to use words like that in public. It's just impolite. So knock it off. I'm not asking you to be politically correct. I'm asking you to treat other people like they're human and be sensitive to the fact that they have feelings too, just like you. It's not hard. Um, and then I guess one other thing is just don't talk down to women in gaming. We probably know just as much as you do about games. Instead of assuming that we don't know things, ask us if we do. Hey, what kind of games are you into? Hey, what's your favorite game? You can learn so much, so much from somebody just by saying like, hey, what are your top five games? Some people are going to say things like, hey, I like Coup and Love Letter and Sushi Go and... I don't know. And and One Night Ultimate Werewolf. And based on that, you'll know what games you want to play with them. Somebody like me is going to be like, hey, I really like Caverna and Puerto Rico and Seven Wonders and WWE Superstar Showdown and Imperial Settlers. And you, you've just learned, like, a ton of information about me. So instead of making assumptions about people, how about we take a step back, we try to put ourselves in somebody else's shoes for a minute, and we think... How would I want to be interacted with in this scenario? And I guarantee you, you do not want to be spoken down to. If everybody immediately assumed that you, as whoever you are, knew nothing about board games, and they were like, yeah, um, do you know what a drafting mechanic is? Have you ever drafted? Do you know what a draft is? Mm, yeah, do you know what a worker placement game is? Mm, yeah. It's just not cool. Just, just knock it off. It's not that hard, guys. And I have plenty more thoughts on women in gaming, but I'm trying to keep these vlogs short, and they seem to just keep running longer. So, that's what I have to say about it. Please don't feel the need to send me nasty tweets. I don't got time for that. I'm just gonna block you if you start crap with me. Um, if you do want to be awesome, though, you can come to our panel this weekend at PAX on Sunday in the Wyvern Theater... It will be um, me and three other women, including Amber Cook, who set the whole thing up. Thank you very much, Amber. And we will be discussing women in gaming and board gaming and um, more in depth on how you can uh, how you can create cultivate an environment that's more welcoming to women and people of different origins than you. So hope you tune in. Or come see us or something. Have a good week, guys. And um, can't promise any vlogs for the rest of the week simply because it is PAX. But if I have any good information for you, you'll be sure to get it by Monday. Be well out.